Hi guys, welcome to my Q&A. I did say that I was gonna do this Q&A a couple weeks ago, but to be fair, I recorded it a couple weeks ago when I said I was going to, and in editing it, I noticed that my energy level was, well, you could tell I'd just gotten out of the hospital after being there for seven days, so I thought I'd re-record it with an energy level that is fully recovered. I am happy to report that I am now 100% pain-free. Ha! And now the only thing that I have to deal with is surgical menopause. Yeah, this cat. Surgical menopause is the current thing that I'm dealing with right now, and it's super frustrating, but it is not pain. Oh, Moose Cat, I'm so happy. I also want to preface this Q&A by saying I will be making another video about my health experiences from my last video up until this point. So, because a lot of the questions that I'm getting on social media right now is about my health. So, which I appreciate your guys' concern and you guys are amazing and I love you, but we're gonna answer non-health related questions for now. Starting on Twitter, I knew that I was gonna get this question a lot, so I thought I'd tackle it right now and just clear the air and let you guys know that yes, Ian and I did break up and it happened quite a few months ago. As much as we loved each other in a romantic relationship, I'm happy to report that the breakup was amicable and we still love and support each other as friends. And I have nothing but amazing things to say about that man. In fact, I wouldn't be the Pam sitting here before you today as a person if it wasn't for Ian. I'm really proud of Ian and all that he's done and I'm really excited to see where he goes this year and I'm really excited to be able to support him as a friend. Which convention will you attend this year? Right now the plan is to do E3, VidCon, Comic-Con, and maybe a PAX in there somewhere. What is something you hope to do this year? I hope that I can rebuild all the things that kind of deteriorated in the last year while I was unhealthy. So I hope to be able to get some more work. I hope to stream more consistently. I hope to get out more and do more conventions and just live pain-free. That's what I wanna do this year. <laughs> do you believe in mythical creatures? Well, I mean, I believe in ghosts, so I don't see why not. Yeah, Loch Ness Monster. Is that a mythical creature? What was your favorite haircut slash color you've ever had? I really liked the black and red pixie. I think that was a pretty cool look. What is your favorite song to relax to? It's not necessarily a song, but it is an artist and it's Ben Folds. I will listen to every single one of his albums on repeat until I can't listen to music anymore. You, you might need a pen and paper to work the math out for this one. Root beer float or Coke float? Well, I'm definitely gonna go with the classic root beer float with an IBC root beer. What's your absolute favorite place in the world? As of right now, it's Japan. It, I feel so at home there. I have so much fun. I feel so safe. It's such a wonderful place to visit. If you have an opportunity to go to Japan, I highly recommend it. Who is your favorite superhero? I think my favorite superhero now is actually Wonder Woman. Um, because of the movie and I also love Greek mythology and yeah, that's good. How are the cats doing? They're doing wonderful. I've got a moose cat on my lap right now. You can't see him, but he's there and he's so cute. What is your favorite movie genre? I like comedies in general, but I really, really love the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I think that should be classified as its own genre. I just said genre? Genre. What do you feel like is your most important accomplishment to date? I think the Bayonetta photo shoot that I did I'm pretty proud of that, and I also really like that people on the internet know me as Bayonetta. That means so much to me. When people were unlocking Bayonetta on Smash Bros. Ultimate and they tagged me at it, that's, that makes me happy. That makes me really happy. I'm really hoping that they can bring me back for Bayonetta 3. Hashtag Pan for Bay 3! If you had any ability, what would it be? I would definitely go with the ability to control time and space because not only would I be able to freeze time, take some naps and then unfreeze time, I would be able to teleport myself because I'm super lazy and I don't wanna have to sit in traffic. And I also don't want the ability to fly because I'm trying to imagine like being up in the air with little to no oxygen and my eyes are all like, you know, I'd probably have goggles or something. Anyways, teleporting and stopping time. Have you thought about doing more acting type gigs? I mean, I'm not opposed to it. It's just not something that I'm actively seeking out. I never liked the audition process and Hollywood is 
really particular when it comes to the way that people are treated, women especially, so I didn't like it very much. So if someone was like, hey Pam, I think you're perfect for this role, you don't have to audition, it's just yours, I will bust butt to be able to do a great job at that role. I do like acting, but not enough to audition for stuff. What's your favorite video game? My favorite video game of all time is actually used to, well I mean it's kind of a toss up between Chrono Trigger and Earthbound for the Super Nintendo. I think it's leaning more towards Earthbound though. What's your favorite anime and manga? I think my favorite one of all time is probably Azumanga Daio. Not just, not just the manga, but also the English and Japanese dub of the anime. It's super funny and I love it and it's cute and it's got a lot of cats. Do you have a favorite kitty? I mean, you're not supposed to have a favorite in your kids, but I do and it's Moose and he's in my lap still. He's so cute. What's your favorite pizza topping and does pineapple belong on a pizza? My favorite is cheese. I just like cheese pizza, but does pineapple belong on pizza? I know everybody's allowed to have what they want on their pizza and if it's pineapple, cool, but not for me. I can't do sweet and savory together and the sweet of pineapple on a pizza is just, ah. How long have you had Moose Cat? My little baby boy just turned 12 and he's just the sweetest little boy and he's been through everything with me. Just a, oh, Moose Cat. If you could be an animal for a day, which one would it be? What's the game you look forward to playing this year? Animal Crossing! Oh, give it to me now. Give me a release date so I can put something in my calendar. Oh, I'm gonna stream so much of it. What's your favorite treat after having a rough day? I think this might be just a right now thing, but I really, really love the Rice Krispies treats with little mini M&Ms on them. Oh. Are there any vlogs or videos that you've edited but never posted? I feel like if you ask any YouTuber that question, they're gonna say, Yes, I have a lot of videos that I've filmed and not edited or edited and not posted and just... I have the vlog from the first time I went to Japan that I probably will never post. That's just... it, it has too much meaning to me to, to edit it and post it. I don't know. I'd rather keep that up here. Yeah, alright, time to move on to Instagram. Pizza pie or pie pizza? What kind of pie pizza? If I could have a chocolate pie pizza, I think that would be pretty good. What was your biggest goal or dream as a child? I'm gonna be perfectly honest. I mean, the first thing that I wanted to be was a veterinarian and then I found out that I had to euthanize animals. I didn't want to do that anymore. But immediately after that, I knew that I wanted to work in video games, specifically as a concept artist. But my dad told me that it wasn't a feasible career choice for a young woman in Kansas. And it made sense to his, to his benefit. It did make sense. So I chose to be an art therapist. And then I had to drop out of college because of health stuff. And then I started working in video games. <laughs> Do you consider yourself to be a crazy cat lady? <laughs> What is your favorite ice cream flavor? I really like Grater's Mint Chip. Grater's being the brand. Tyler introduced me to Grater's and it's so good. How do you get your hair so floofy? I mean, it's really thick. I have really thick hair. You can't tell because it's super short on the sides, but it's really thick. It is really thick hair that I am now growing out. <laughs> How did you meet Ethan? I actually met him through Mark. Do you have any tattoos? I have three tattoos. I have the Triforce on my rib cage. I have uh, the number 13 in Japanese on my ankle with a little ninja with a number 13 on his chest standing on top of it. What is your favorite meal? I really, really, really love broccoli casserole, especially my sister's broccoli casserole. It's so good. How many surgeries have you had? In the last year, I've had 13 surgical procedures. Do you play any instruments? I actually play the ukulele and the flute. And the voice. Ah! If you could relive one memory over again, what would it be? Probably meeting Miyamoto at E3. That is by far one of the most profound moments of my entire life. And I think about it and it makes me start crying. So, can't think about it. 
If Moose Cat could ever become a human, what do you think he'd do first? I imagine he would turn on the faucet and drink from it because he loves drinking from the faucet, but he can't turn it on. What else are you doing other than YouTube? I'm a partnered streamer at Facebook and I also have a Patreon and I also do other YouTube channels like I'm on Real Neat Games uh, with my brother and a bunch of our friends and yeah, lots of gaming stuff. The most important question, orange juice, pulp or no pulp? I'd probably say no pulp because I don't like the like stuff getting stuck in my teeth and like blah. Hint, if you don't know pulp, you're wrong. Do you like ancient mythology? Yes, actually. I know that it means nothing now, but I had a minor in Greek mythology in college. Isn't that funny? I don't know what I'd do with it, but it was just really fun to learn. Will you ever collab with Markiplier again? How is Moose Cat? Moose Cat, you want to tell them how you're doing? doing he's doing good well guys I think that does it for this q and a I'll continue I'll continue answering questions over time um, I just don't want this video to be too long so if you have burning questions be sure to ask them in the comments down below or respond to my tweets or if it's a good question I'll grab it and I'll answer it in my next q and a video everybody say bye Miss K. bye Thank you for tuning in to my Q&A. Okay, love you, bye. Love you, bye.